Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we will talk about Spring Data Rest. Now trust me, Spring Data Rest is magic. Now to understand that magic, let's go for the previous example which we were doing in the previous series. So what we have done till now is in fact we will be doing the same thing but with the help of Spring Data Rest and trust me it is damn easy to work on. So what we have done is we wanted to fetch all the aliens. Now what is alien? Basically alien has three properties, A, I, D, A name and tech. And then we have a database where I mean I have inserted some values. In fact, we have this data to SQL. So I have inserted these values in, in the database. Now let's say if I want to fetch an alien, if I want to add new aliens, what we need is a controller, right? So whenever you send a request, request goes to the controller. Now, depend upon what type of request you are sending. If you are sending a get request, this will be getting called. So this is for get request. This is for fetching all the aliens and this is for put, which is update basically. Then we have post and then we have delete. So what, what are the files we need? We need a, a controller. Then we need a repository where you, which using which you can perform the operations and thanks to Spring Data, we got this feature where you don't have to write much code. So everything is working perfectly, right? But then think about this controller. So normally when you work on Spring MVC REST, you need to create a controller. And if you look at this controller, it doesn't make any sense, right? Because this controller is simply accepting the request and is performing the operation. So I want to do the same thing, but without controller. Is it possible? And the answer is yes. And that's where we have Spring Data REST. So let's implement that. So what I will do is I will just close all the windows here and let's start from scratch. So I will close this project and let's create a new project. So I will right click here. I will say new spring starter project and we'll name this project as spring data rest. And then we'll click on next. Now when I say spring data rest, what are the modules which I need? Now, first of all, we need database, right? So of course we will be using H2. We don't have a choice, right? We need database, maybe MySQL or H2. Now, since we, ju we are just testing it, so embedded uh, database will make more sense. We need JPA because of course we need repository and we need REST repository. Again, I have worked on the project before. That's why I'm getting this frequently access area. But in case if it is not there in your setup, don't worry, just search for it here. Example, if I search for REST, this is what we are selecting. Inside web, we have REST repository. Okay, so we have selected H2, JPA and REST repository. We don't have to go for web here because we are not making a web application. Now click on next and then click on finish. That's it. This is what you need to add. So we got our project here and if I see the dependencies, we got a lot of dependencies here. Now, what is the first thing we need? Now, of course, we need to configure H2, right? And uh, where do we do that? So in the resources, we need in the application properties, we need to specify some properties for H2. I will not be typing those again because we have done that in the, in the last uh, project. So let's let me just copy those properties here and paste. Okay, now what are these properties? Very simple. First, you have to enable your H2, your database, and then you need to specify which platform you are working on and the URL. Now, once you have specified your properties, the next thing we need is initial data, right? Of course, I can create this file by myself, but then let, just to save the time, I will copy this file. It's very easy. Actually, you just need to create a SQL file or a normal file with an extension .sql and then just add your insert statement there and put that in a resource folder. That's very important. Now, once you have done with the application properties and the data .sql, okay, it looks good. Let's create a repository, right? So we need to, in fact, before that, we need to create a model class. So in this demo, I will create a new class. I will name this class as alien and let's put this class in a model package. Now this class alien will have certain properties. The first property we need is we'll say private int a i d and we'll say private string a name and private string tech. And for this, we need getters and setters. So let me just do that. Get and setters, select all, click on OK. So we got our getter setters and I also need a two string method. So I would say source to string, uh, select all the variables which you want and we got it. OK, now since this, since we are working with JPA, so of course we need to add this annotations, right? The first thing we need here is at entity. This is this is how you mentioned that this is this is eligible for database let's import the package and for aid i will mention this is a primary key 
and then I also want to create generate the value by itself so I would say generated value I want it to be auto increment basically now this is done we have done with ID and generated value so it should work next thing I need here is a, a controller oh okay. that's that's good right we don't need a controller here because we are working with spring data rest directly we go for a repository so we'll go for interface and this interface I will name this as alien rep or the same thing which we have done before and click on finish now in this this alien repository will extend one interface which is jpa repository because we want all the features right now example when i say all the features i'm talking about you know code operations addition uh, which is adding new data and then uh, deleting the old record all those stuff let's input the package now once i got this interface it should work right everything we have done you see see so simple we have not done much I have simply created the alien uh, which is a model class and a repository there is no controller so if you want to build a rest services you don't basically need all the extra features right or you don't you don't need you don't basically need mvc for that but will this work now there are certain questions we need to answer because if i see the controller let's go back to the controller let's see how a normal controller looks like so if you look at a controller we have a name here which is aliens okay we have a alien name we, we are mapping it with some something right so when our user send a request we have a lot of things here which is which is used for mapping in fact this one how will you pass this value if i want to pass some specific values now is it your spring boot uh, data jpa uh, data rest is so smart that it will give it to you okay so okay it should but then it requires only one thing and that one thing is you need to use an annotation here so it is called repository rest resource and in the bracket you have to specify two properties so we'll say control space or two attributes one is collection resource url the base url you are going to use i would say aliens and then the path so path is also aliens so you have to specify these two attributes that's it and it should work now because whenever you send a request you have to make sure that you are using aliens here now with this let's see if it is working so i will just close this i will just stop the app stop the ex old execution and start the new one so i will say spring data rest run as spring boot app okay now how do i verify this if it is working i don't know let's go back to the postman and we have some earlier execution let me just close those things and here i will send a request i would say localhost colon 8080 slash now whatever request I, I should send i will be sending aliens because this is what you have configured in your repository right aliens here click on enter oh we got our data and if you can see it also has certain links now if you have seen uh Hetios, it, we have to provide links as well right and it is doing it for you normally we do that manually but your spring data rest is giving you the links as well and it's saying that if you want to access any resource this is a url we'll be using let's try so if i click on this url click on send you can see that we got data for one if i fetch about five oh it's working you are able to fetch all the records what if i say zero six let's try click on send oh we got we, we you can see we got the status as 404 awesome so get is working what about what about i'll go for post i want to create a new resource now before that i will just fetch the resource so that i can copy paste i want to create a new resource i will copy this code and then i will go back to post body and i will send raw paste make sure that this is json and i will create a new record so i will say priya machine learning and the id is okay i will say this is 106 because anyway we will be using uh, auto generated so i will say 106 and click on send does it is it working no it's not working there's something wrong here it's still go oh okay the thing is i should not be uh, putting the slash 105 again I, i'm making, making making the same mistake again and again click on send it's working can you see that oh we got uh, it one oh th there's there's an issue here the issue is uh, that's my bad because in the data file if you remember in the project in data file i started the numbering from 101 that was my bad you know i should start numbering by from one so when you say auto generated it, it started with one okay and in, to access that now uh, we have to use one okay my bad it, it was my mistake but that's fine we will delete it so it's a delete and i want to delete one done uh, it says no content is it 
uh, because it, it is not returning a content i will fetch i will try to fetch all the aliens now uh 106 gone is it yeah 106 gone okay that's that's good so you can add you can delete in fact we can also use put uh for putting we have to update data right and i will be updating 103 this time i don't know is 103 it's probably so let's copy this and i will try to put so which is updating basically and i will go to go to the body and here so what i will update let's say uh uh, Pravin is not working on Python. Let's say Pravin is working on AI and then that's one update I want to go for and I will click on OK and is it updated? Yes, we got the updated one which is AI. So you can see that we got all the options. You can delete, you can put, you can post. So that's the magic of, of Spring Data Rest, right? Now how it is working behind the scene? Now since you are mentioning aliens here, so it is it's something you can assume, right? So the, when you run the project, it is localhost colon 8080 and the URL which you are mentioning is alien. And anyway, all the methods are pre-built in this JPL repository. That's the power of Spring Data. And REST says, I will map it with the help of this URL. So it's, it is the power of REST because you are getting that all the features of linking and you got REST or you got data using which you can perform the operation. So that's how you work with Spring Data Rest. In fact, you can do some advanced stuff. Let me know in the comment section if you have done that. So I'll, I will motivate you to explore more on Spring Data Rest. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.